Allen Williams. Solomon will jump center for Cal, and Taryn Brown jumping center for UCSB. A couple of 35s jumping against each other. The Bears control the opening tip. Glad you could join us here on AM 1290, the Santa Barbara News Press radio station. And just from the tip there, Don, you you saw how high Solomon can get in the air. He really went up. Well, the Gauchos open up in his own defense. And now Cal swings the ball to the right side of the floor. That's Wallace, and he throws a bad ball. Stolen by the Gauchos. Here comes Harmon the other direction. He'll slow it up. Harmon, top of the key, left side to Bryson. Down low, they go to Big Al, immediately trapped on the baseline. His pass is knocked out of bounds by the flying Justin Cobb. Good anticipation by Cobbs as he almost stole that skip pass that was coming to the right side of the floor. Well, the double team came off of Brew from Brewies, man. And the Gauchos have it now. Here's Big Al going to the right baseline. A little out of control. Double team. Nice pass to Brewey. On top they go to Bryson. Fumbled it with a left hand. Got it back. Plenty of time on the shot clock. 12 on the shot clock. Here's Harmon out near the midcourt line. And Cal right now in a man-to-man. -man. Harmon spins away from his defender. Puts up a shot and scores off the glass. Beautiful play by Zalmiko Harmon who spun away from Justin Cobbs and a little floater off the glass. But kept him on his hip too and then his backside as he went by the defender. So... Didn't have the opportunity to get back in the game to maybe block that shot. Here's Wallace getting a screen from Kravish on top. Now they'll go right side, and that's Bird. Now back to Wallace on the left perimeter to Bird on top. And now to the free throw line. Here is Solomon looking to go one-on-one -on -one with Big Al. Back out on top is Wallace. Uh, check that Bird with it. Bird wanted to head off to Kravish. Now it goes right side. Here's a three on the way by Wallace. That rims in and out. The ball batted up by Kravish, but it comes down to Bryson, and the Gauchos have it. Here's UCSB the other way. Zamiko Harmon, a head fake, goes in underneath, kicks it back out on top to Bryson, out a Big Al, Bear hands it with the right hand, goes down the lane, puts it up and scores off the glass. Big Al caught that ball down at the top of the key with his right hand like it was a tennis ball. Did uh, one or two dribbles, got the defender on his hip and went straight over him, Solomon. Not often you see Big Al start his move from the top of the key, but that time he did and he looked like a... He looked like a small forward. Here's Cobbs now, a three from the left perimeter, and that is good. It is four to three. UCSB just underway here as we've played two minutes and 10 seconds of the first half. So a big time three pointer there. Here is Harmon in the front court. Will dribble to the right side, kicks it in the right corner, and that's Bryson back out to the right perimeter to Harmon. Now he'll dribble between the circles. Harmon with a dribble to the right side, hands it off to Bryson. The Gauchos on the weave outside. A bounce pass to Big Al on top, left perimeter, 25 feet is Bryson, gets a screen from Big Al. He'll launch a three, it's online, rims in and out, rebound tipped around, and that goes off of Cal and out of bounds. Along the near sideline, Dick Cartmel, one of the officials tonight, made the call, Gaucho ball. Lazy call happened right in front of him. Wallace is the last player on the court to touch that basketball. And the Gauchos inbound with a fresh shot clock. Here's Harmon between the legs with a dribble. Now to the right perimeter in front of the Bears bench. And that is Taryn Brown to the right baseline, Al Williams. Williams taking on Solomon one-on-one. -on -one. His baby hook from the right baseline, an air ball. And the ball loose underneath, out of bounds, off of UCSB. So Big Al, that time done, really didn't have his feet set, I don't think. And uh, that uh, little baby hook of his from 10 was well short. Well, I like to see that Solomon's matched up with him, too. Uh, it's good to see Al go up, up against somebody of some size, some height. Kravish inside trying to get it to Solomon, can't do it. They come on top to Bird. Bird now to Cobbs. Cobbs dribbles to the free throw line inside to Solomon. It goes off him and Big Al with the steal along the baseline. Here's Harmon now across the midcourt line. Zalmiko Harmon dribbles to the right side. Bryson wanted it in the left corner. He was open. Harmon didn't see him. Harmon now with a left-hand dribble back near the midcourt line. To the left sideline, they go to Bryson. Bryson down on the left block to Big Al, and Big Al skip pass to Brewey is over his head and into the Bears bench, a turnover by Allen Williams. We anticipated the double coming from the weak side, and it did, but Brewey, who's not an outside shooter, started to run towards the paint, which is probably a good decision. Al had him going out towards the three-point line and misjudged on the pass. Four to three, Gauchos, a near steal by Brown. Here's a pull-up jumper from the left side by Bird that hits the rim and bounces over the backboard. It'll be UCSB ball underneath. Boy, Taryn Brown almost had a steal there, and there was no one in front of him, and he would have electrified the crowd, certainly, Don, with a big dunk at the other end. Yeah, but he gambled, and Bird got a <clears throat> great shot, a shot that he makes probably 80% of the time. Four to three, Gauchos, 16-19 left first half. Harmon with a slow dribble with Cobbs bothering him as he comes across the half-court line. 
Left perimeter to Bruy, now on top to Williams. Right perimeter, Harmon with it. Harmon to Bryson, off the screen. Michael couldn't pull the trigger from straight away. Now to Bruy, in the left corner they go. Brown a three, and that's good. Darren Brown, a three-pointer, and closing quickly was Jabari Bird, but he didn't get there in time. Well, no hesitation on that shot. He catches it and lets it fly. Seven to three Gauchos. 15.48 left first half, media timeout, next stoppage of play. Here's Wallace right side, now to the left perimeter to Cobbs, back to Wallace on the right side. Wallace, couple of dribbles down the lane, runs over Brewey, offensive foul. Mike Cyphers on the call, and that'll bring us to a media timeout. Well, you talk about being out of control. Great defense outside by uh, Mitch Brewey, obviously, but very much out of control by Bird. 15-39 left first half. For five, 60%. Cal, on the other hand, has only taken three shots and made one. Harmon brings the ball across the midcourt line, seven to three UCSB. Brown, now Big Al falls down at the free throw line, gets back up, there'd be some perspiration down there. There's a bounce pass to Bryson, slam dunk! Great pass from the left perimeter by Zal Michael Harmon. Well, good, good cut, got a little pick there. Springs himself open, goes in with a two-hand slam. Yalcho's in a, in a zone defense here. Here is Wallace, a big bunny hop. He kicks it back to Cobbs on top. He'll pull up for a jumper, left side of the free throw line, and that's good. Nine to five, Gauchos. He has all the points for Cal. I see why the pros are here looking at him. Yeah. He's smooth. Harmon raced it up the floor there and then pulled it back. Gauchos up, nine to five, 14-48 left first half. Here's Bryson on the right perimeter, gets a screen from Williams. Now to the baseline, Big Al kicks it on top to Brown. Down low they go to Brewey. Brewey on the left block, puts it up no good, followed in by Brown. Darren Brown coming in from the weak side, able to read that beautifully and he followed it in off the glass. It's 11 to five, Gauchos. Uh, when, he's, when his motor's going, that's the type of thing that Darren Brown can do. Gaucho's looking like they're in a 3-2 zone right here, Don. Here's Cobbs along three, right side, no good. And that one, Karam's off the rim, out of bounds. An excellent effort in that far corner by Jabari Bird to try to save it, but couldn't do it. It's 11-5 Gauchos. And uh, the Cal Bears are going to bring in Ricky Krecklow. The Gauchos are going to bring in Kyle Boswell along with Eric Childress. Well, Eric was so happy to see the game end the other night against UCLA. It was a tough one for him. Well, he just, you know, it happens, and all of a sudden you can't control the basketball, and then the coach loses a little bit of confidence in you. You need more minutes, and yet you've turned the ball over, so you, you get a seat. So he's happy that, this, that we're in a new game here. Yeah, shows up 11 to 5, 14 5 left first half. Here's Boswell, now to Brown, left perimeter, they go to Childress, against that sideline, gets a screen from Big Al, goes to the baseline, Childress spins and traveled. Well, the Pac-12 nightmares for Eric Childress <laughs> continue, but yeah. as Bob said in the pregame show with Mark uh, Patton, the, uh, the young man is going to turn it around and put it behind him because he is way too talented to uh, have these struggles. Sam Wait. Beeler getting ready to come in for the Gauchos. You need minutes on the floor. There's Cobbs to Wallace, three-pointer, left perimeter. That's no good. And a big-time athletic rebound by Solomon. He was behind Williams and jumped out of the building to grab that rebound. Here is Cobbs handing it off to Wallace. One bounce dribble, kicks it the right corner. And this is Kreklow. Kreklow the skip pass to Cobbs on the left side. Down low they go to Wallace. And Wallace an offensive foul as he runs over Eric Childress. Big Al was there to swat that like a volleyball. But it was an offensive foul called as Childress took the charge. That great defense there by uh, Eric Childress, but uh, nice by Al Williams, too. You know, he, he doesn't know what's happening in front of him. He, he's not sure that Eric's going to get that call, so he goes up and blocks the shot. Beeler checks in for Brewey. Al Williams thought maybe he was checking in for him, but Al Williams still on the floor. And Jordan Matthews in for Cal. Here's a crossover by Childress, top of the key, 11 to 5, Gauchos, 13 16 left first half. He hands it off to Boswell. Boswell going from right to left around the arc, pulls up, delivers to the right perimeter, and that's Childress. Childress will back the dribble up against Jordan Matthews. Now Childress with a left-hand dribble, eight on the shot clock, way out on the left perimeter. Childress looking for an angle, hands it off to Boswell, and Childress stepped on the sideline as he Bo held it off, or did Boswell? Boswell stepped on the sideline during the delivery, so I don't know if Eric picks that turnover up or, or Boswell does, but it was Boswell who was on the line. But if you're on the line and you're the point guard, you can't hand it to that guy. Yep. Uh, here is Cameron Rooks, the seven foot, 270 pound freshman center from San Marcos, went to Mission Hills High School. 
I wasn't sure that he's been playing, but I see he's played seven games. His numbers aren't much. He's the son of Sean Rooks, longtime NBA right. player. And uh, Sam Beeler and Big Allen Williams down low. Here's a dribble drive. Now Cobbs kicks it left corner. Matthews a three. That's short, and the rebound is a long one. Matthews gets it, goes down the lane, puts it up, and that one was bothered by Taron Brown. An air ball pulled down by Big Al. Taron Brown got up and really created uh, quite a, uh, a an obstacle there. And here's Childress picking up his dribble at the midcourt line. Barely got rid of it. And uh, good job by Brown again on the defensive end. Here's Childress with a drive to the basket. Tries to split two defenders. Throws it up. No good. Beeler follows it in. Sam Beeler there to follow it in. It's 13-5 Gauchos. Well, if you see your point guard has had to pick the ball up, you can't stand there as a big guy. You have to go meet a pass. So and uh, Al Williams was kind of frozen, and Beeler was frozen. You've got to go help the point guard out. Kreklow gave up the three, goes down low, and that was Kravish. Now they go to Cobbs, they kick it to Kreklow. On top they go, here's Matthews to Cobbs. Left side jumper short, rebound battled for it, comes down to Rooks, and Rooks double team in the far corner, gets it back out to Matthews, and he'll slow it up between the circles. Left side to Cobbs, he's got a lane to the basket, goes up with a left-hand layup, no good, fouled on the play, and Cobbs will go to the line for two. That's Allen Williams' first foul. That's a nice penetration by Cobbs. You know, this is an unselfish basketball team, Cal. They really make extra passes out there, as I assume someone's about to take a shot, and then they pass it to another teammate. Don's got the new numbers. Well, Gaucho's being led offensively by Taron Brown, two for two, five points. There's three or four players with two each. While there's only one score for Cal, and he's got six points right now, that's Justin Cobbs. He's at the free throw line, just made his first. He has one more coming. Cobbs, 80% free throw shooter before that one. Now a little bit better, he's 33 of 41. Make it uh, 34 of 42. So Cobbs makes them both, it's 13 to seven. Gauchos with a six point lead. And UCSB with the basketball in the front court. Here's Taryn Brown with it. On the right side, dribbles top of the key, goes out to the left side to Boswell. Now deeper on the left side to Childress, back to Boswell, gets a screen for Beeler, his three is short on the mark, the rebound, Rooks, and Rooks almost traveled and then almost fell out of bounds, but got it to Cobbs. Here's Cal the other direction, Kreklow down low to Solomon, on the left block, goes up over Beeler, no good, rebound Bruy. Good defense by Sam Beeler. Here come the Gauchos the other direction, and it's Childress dribbling between the legs on the right side, backs it up, looking for Brown inside, instead goes to Beeler on the right, back to Childress, and Eric will slow it up out near the midcourt line. Now to the left side they go, Boswell out at 25 feet, Bruy comes to screen, and Boswell loses the ball as he goes in, but was it touched by a bear? It was. It'll be UCSB basketball underneath. Zell Michael Harmon comes back in for Eric Childress. Michael Bryson in for Taryn Brown. 13 to seven, UCSB, 10.48 left first half. Harmon will inbound along the baseline to the right side of the uh, goal, and he sends it out to Bryson. Now cross court, left side of the floor is Boswell. He's way out at 35 feet, 10 on the shot clock. Boswell between the legs with a dribble, pulls up, tried to get Solomon in the air, instead goes to Harmon. Harmon on top, has to launch a long three. That's back rib, no good. The long rebound to Cobbs. Cobbs starts it up the floor. He's got a man open to his left, and that is Jordan Matthews in the left corner. Matthews gives up the shot to Cobbs, back to Matthews, and he fires a long three, and he got it from the left corner. So a little two-man game back and forth between Cobbs and Matthews. Cobbs got it right back to Matthews, Don. The Gauchos sagged off on Matthews, and he buried a three. Well, I like what I saw there. Matthews got the first pass, didn't like the shot, kicked it back to Cobbs, who immediately returned it to him for the open look. Boswell, long three straight away is Yikes. good. Kyle Funny. Boswell. Yeah, that, that isn't long, Jerry. I mean, that is deep, really long. Yeah, that's NBA deep, 16 to 10. Oh, that's, that's a step beyond NBA range. Big Al, Big Al coming back in, and Sean Moore will come in for the first time. Here's Kreklow down on the left baseline. They go to Solomon, and Solomon turned and beat Beeler, and Sam grabbed him and committed the foul. Probably a good foul, Don, because Solomon was going to elevate and dunk if he got by Beeler. Well, tall guys have the uh, sometimes forget to get down low on defense. That time he was a bit too erect, no quick foot speed. Solomon went right by him, and the instinct then is to reach out. Two team fouls on both, and uh, Big Al back in for Beeler. Cobbs will inbound underneath, throws a dangerous pass out near the midcourt line, and 
Boswell almost came up with the steal, but a good job by Matthews to uh, keep the possession for the Cal Bears. Here's Cobbs out on the right side, 25 feet from the goal. Now to Solomon on the right baseline. He'll pull up for a 10-footer. That's short on the mark. The long rebound out to Solomon. Top of the key, he'll hand it off to Cobbs. 16 to 10, Gauchos. 9.20 left first half. Cobbs looking inside. Instead goes to Kreklow between the circles. Now to the free throw line. Turnaround jumper, Kravish, no good. Solomon going for the rebound, but it's Williams for the Gauchos. Big Al getting the board there. Here's Bryson, left side on the perimeter to Harmon. Harmon had Big Al open going toward the basket, and now Williams lowers his shoulder. They're going to call an offensive foul on Williams, and that's his second as he knocked over Solomon. Boy, I'm telling you, Richard Solomon took the brunt of that left shoulder to the chest, Don, and hit the deck hard. Now, there may have been a little acting in there, but... <laughs> I think. <laughs> I mean, that's good defense. He, that's, a, that's an easy call. That was all on Al Williams. 16 to 10, Gauchos by six. Here's Solomon now on the left block, and Williams takes the ball away. Big Al steals it. Solomon got hit in the face. The Gauchos have a man advantage the other way. Here is Moore, bouncing it inside. Williams fouled as he puts it up, does not score it. And Big Al will get two free throws. Solomon looks like he's okay. He wears goggles, and he took those goggles off. But that was more uh, done on... Richard Solomon than anything else. He just kind of fumbled the dribble between his legs and then uh, Big Al got down there and just took it away from him. Well, both players had their hands on it. Now kind of out manhandled him. And then I think he did get bumped with the goggles. And then the goggles get pressed against your face and it doesn't feel good. It's not a foul, but it doesn't feel good. More ability, more basketball skill at, at Pauly the other night than we've seen so far here at the Thunderdome. Alan Williams to shoot two. He's shooting 59% from the free throw line, 20 of 34, and he makes this one. 17 to 10, Gauchos. Remember, Alan Williams has two fouls, and I think it's safe to say that if the Bears can try to get at him, Don, and get the ball down low, he makes them both. They're going to get the ball down low anyway, but they would love to get a third foul on Big Al before this first half ends. Well, it's also important to be able to learn how to play with fouls, and Al Williams, very cerebral man. I'm sure he can do it. Gauchos equal their biggest lead. Here's Matthews, a three from straight away, and that's good with Michael Bryson right there on him. 18-13, Gaucho lead down to five. 8-20 left first half. Well, Matthews, a pure shooter. Absolutely. Boy, that is a beautiful stroke that uh, Matthews has. And that is his fifth three-pointer of the season. Here's Alan Williams on the left baseline. Now to Bryson, to Boswell, fakes left, goes right down the lane, hands it off beautifully to Moore. His shot was blocked inside by Solomon. What a play by Solomon. Matthews the other direction. Lays it up and in off the glass as he was slicing from left to right in the lane. I think Solomon maybe blocked that shot with his shoulder. Here is he so yeah. up, up. Boy, so that was high. a nice play by Solomon and a great layup the other end by Matthews. 18-15, all of a sudden Cal on a quick 5-0 run. Boy, two sips out of my Diet Coke, I didn't uh, cover that 5-0 run that quickly. 7.36 left first half. Williams on the right side of the three-point line. Now out to Harmon, way out along the left sideline. Williams out there to set a screen. And Harmon going by his man out to Bryson. A three. Good from straight away. Michael Bryson with a rainbow three. 21-15, Gauchos. Yeah. Talk about pure. Forget about Matthews. Let's talk about Bryson. He has some great outside range and great form as he takes those shots. Here is Matthews looking to shoot from the right perimeter. Now goes inside to Solomon as Moore comes in. Solomon puts it up. No good. Tips it up. No good. The rebound. Kravish knocks it off of Zalmichael Harmon and out of bounds. Boy, Alan Williams was on the double team with Sean Moore with Solomon down low, Don, and Williams left his feet and did a great job contorting his body to not come down on Solomon with what would have she was the co-Big West Conference Coach of the Year for the Gauchos, and she was the ACC Coach of the Year last year at Miami. <laughs> she needs a bigger trophy case. Boy, I, I bet. Cal inbounds. Here is uh, Matthews now faking the three. Goes to Kravish along the paint. He gets inside for a hook shot, and that bounces off the back rim and goes in. A little six-foot hook, hook shot by David Kravish. That's really hard to defend. 21-17, Gaucho lead down to four. Boswell right side on top, Harmon, left perimeter, Brown. Now they go to Boswell, who's on the right side, 25 feet from the basket, gets a screen from Big Al. Al was open on the pick and roll. Boswell a three instead from straight away, no good. And Solomon gets up there for the rebound and wraps up. 
Kyron Wallace is back for Cal. He's got the ball between the circles. Wallace looking to do something with it. Jabari Bird is also back. Now Solomon, no look pass inside to Kravish. Leads it up and in. And a quick timeout, Bob Williams. Boy, nice pass by Richard Solomon. Here, the Lakers obviously are here. Detroit is here. Those four, for a fact, are here. And, I, and I, there's at least one other one, and, and I'm forgetting the team. So after the 32nd timeout, 6.09 left first half, 21-19, UCSB by two. But Cal is on a nice run here. The Bears right now on a 9-3 run. Here's Williams between the circles for UCSB. Hands it off to Boswell. Boswell, right perimeter they go to Harmon. Now down to the right side. A turnaround jumper by Big Al is no good. And a flying rebound by Bryson. His pass inside to Brown who goes up and has it swatted from behind by Tyrone Wallace. What an athletic play by Wallace, but what a great pass by Michael Bryson. Off that rebound. That time Big Al had a good shot done from the right baseline and just missed it. Gaucho's got to get it in, and now they do to Big Al, who hands it. No, he fakes the head off to Boswell, backs his man down, goes in hard, puts it up, no good. Solomon the rebound, a lot of contact, no call. The outlet pass to Wallace. Here comes Cal, a chance to tie or take the lead with a three. Bird between the circles with it, goes right side. Matthews a three for the lead, back rim, no good. And Boswell goes up to get it, but Kravish tips it to his own man. That's Wallace. Now Bird on top, down the lane, lays it up, around it off, and Big Al the rebound for UCSB. The outlet pass to Brown. Here comes Taryn Brown up the floor, he'll stop. What a nice rebound by Allen Williams. Harmon bounces it left side to Bryson, backing down Matthews, goes inside, spins, throws a bad pass, Bird steals. Here comes Cal the other direction. Wallace down the lane, runs over Boswell, offensive foul on Wallace. Tyrone could not stop in time, and Boswell took the charge underneath. I don't think he tried to stop. There was no attempt to stop. He just kept, kept going. on moving. Good D by Boswell. Justin Cobbs coming back into the lineup for the Cal Bears, and Wallace will go out. That is Wallace's second foul. Well, Cobbs will come back in and calm this team down a little bit. Five minutes left to go, first half, 21-19. UCSB leads Cal here at the Thunderdome. And Williams with it for UCSB. Right side they go to Harmon out at 25 feet. Matthews has a head in his face. Now to Brown between the circles. Back to the right side. This is Harmon looking down low for Williams. Harmon on a dribble drive is bumped by Matthews. We haven't seen a lot of those bumping fouls tonight, Don, on the perimeter. That's one of the one of the very few we've seen. Well, I think the players have start, you know, you have to learn to adjust. And maybe the, the officials have adjusted as well and don't don't call every particular one. Nacho's inbound underneath. That's team foul number five on Cal, and that's a five-second violation as Boswell could not get it in. Well, I think a couple players, I think four players were playing one play, and one was playing another, running another, and uh, that's not a way to get a ball in. Here's Cobbs walking it across the midcourt line to Matthews. Left perimeter, 25 feet. Gaucho's in his own defense. Looks like that 3-2 zone again. Taryn Brown and Big Al down low. Here is Kravish. Turn around. Free throw line jumper. No good. Ball batted around. It comes down to Williams. Good rebound by the big guy. Here's Harm in the other direction. Races it up the floor. Goes in against Kravish. Lays it up. No good. Taryn Brown was high above the rim to follow it, but it bounced off. And the rebound to the Cal Bears. Cobbs between the legs. Almost lost it. Picks up his dribble. 17 feet from the basket. Down low to Solomon. Solomon goes in hard. Puts it up and scores against Big Al. Allen Williams. So Solomon... Fake left and went right and tied the game at 21. Well, he wanted to go left, but he sensed that a double team was coming, so he had the sense uh, to go the other direction and score. Not an easy play. 3.55 left first half. Gauchos and Bears tied at 21, and here is a whistle and an offensive foul at the top of the key. Setting a pick was Michael Bryson, and an illegal pick. Here comes uh, Mitch Bruey and Sam Beeler back into the lineup, but we'll have a media timeout first. 3.52 left first half. And the Bears with the basketball out of the media timeout with a chance to take the lead. They have the ball in the front court. Matthews on top is Bird looking for Cobbs on the right side. Instead goes to Kravish at the free throw line. Back to Bird, left perimeter. One bounce dribble on top. Cobbs skip pass in the left corner. Matthews thought about a three. Brewey got out there to defend it. Now on top is Bird. His three, short. Rebound. Matthews, free throw line. He goes down the lane, lays it up. No good. Fouled on the play. And Matthews, very athletic, will get two free throws as Kyle Boswell commits his first personal. That's team foul number five on the Gauchos. Both teams have five. Matthews done a nice job, a little spurt. 
for this team offensively off the bench. He has eight. He leads the way. He's going to get more as he makes the first free throw. Nine points now Boy, he's off the bench. Played a very nice first half. Matthews came into the game shooting 75% from the free throw line, 18 of 24, and he made that one. And he missed this one. Taryn Brown up there to get the rebound. So the Gauchos out there with Mitch Brewey, Sam Beeler, Taryn Brown, Michael Harmon, and Kyle Boswell, the five on the floor. We'll give you Cal in a moment. Here are the Gauchos trailing by a point, 22-21. Taryn Brown on top. He'll launch a three, and that rims in and out the rebound, Solomon. Boy, can he jump in the air. Here is Cobbs up the floor. Leaves it for Matthews on the right side. Goes to the right baseline. Cut off nicely by Boswell. Skip pass left side. Bird gives up the three. Now back into the right corner. Matthews wide open three. Back rim no good. And Taryn Brown the weak side rebound. That one caromed off the back rim over Solomon. Here is Brewey down low. He lays it up and in. Nice entry pass by Kyle Boswell from the top of the key. Used a little bit of muscle and power on that play to get great position right under the rim. 23-22. Gaucho's back in front. Cobbs gets a screen from Kravish. Now goes... They go in the right corner. Here is Bird, a three. That's no good. And the rebound, that's a foul on Kravish. Easy to call as he kind of was riding the back of Zalmiko Harmon. And that, again, another long rebound, Don. That one out near the free throw line area. We've seen a lot of long rebounds off of uh, long shots. Well, that's pitcher perfect walkout by uh, Z. Yeah. Point guard on a six foot nine guy. Just stayed in front of him. And the 6'9 guy got a little frustrated and swung him around a little bit. Easy call. 16 fouls on Cal. That's the second on Kravish. Matthews getting ready to come back in. Here's a bounce pass from the left side by Harmon that is kicked. And out of bounds. That one off the foot of Ricky Krecklow. Kravish coming out of the game with two fouls. Mike Montgomery doesn't want him to pick up a third, so Matthews comes in. Team's a little bit smaller now, but quicker and... Better on the perimeter for the Bears. Harmon inbounds underneath. Here's Taryn Brown. Easy layup. And the Bears got lost. Jabari Bird got picked and could not catch up in time for Taryn Brown. And a beautiful inbound pass by Michael Harmon. Easy layup. 25-22 Gauchos. Here's Matthews in the front court working top of the key. Looking to the left side. Now goes instead to the right to Cobbs. Cobbs slicing and dicing his way in. Throws a dangerous pass. Deflected. Intercepted by Harmon. Here come the Gauchos again. Cobbs would love to have that back. Harmon, left side to Boswell, looking inside. Beeler's got great position. They get it to him on the left block. His baby hook is good in the lane. One bounce dribble by Sam Beeler to get him in the lane for an eight-foot baby hook. And it's 27-22, Gauchos. I think that surprised Solomon. I don't feel that he thought that Beeler would attempt that shot and yeah. scored right over him. That's a good point, Don. I really think that caught him off guard. Here's Krecklow with it, bouncing it in the lane. Solomon fade away from the free throw line. Good. Oh, what a ooh, nice shot. Ooh. Wow. I mean, that's, a, that's a 6'10", 6'11 guy doing a little step back. Finesse, parachute. I mean, that, that shot had some arc to it. It certainly did. What a beautiful shot by Richard Solomon. 27-24, Gauchos by three. Here's Taryn Brown with it. He throws a dangerous pass inside. A whistle and a foul is going to go against the Bears. Boy. That's against Cobbs. I'll tell you, that's a pass that Taryn Brown should never throw. There were three Bears in the lane. And Taryn Brown, lucky that that was not a turnover. It'll turn into a one-and-one one for Sam Beeler. And Big Sam this season is 12 of 16 from the free throw line. And he missed this one off the back rim, got his own rebound, put it up, back rim again, no good. Krecklow the rebound, and Beeler fouled him. <laughs> well, it's just the sixteen foul, so no harm done. He's just frustrated that he missed the free throw, missed the put back, went strong for the second offensive board, got nothing but bear. Solomon coming out, and Rooks coming back for Cal. Boswell comes out for the Gauchos, and Eric... Cal will play on Tuesday night at home against Nevada and then uh, a week from tomorrow at home against Fresno State before going to Creighton. Here are the Bears out of the timeout. Front court with it, Cobbs in the left corner. He'll launch a three over Childress, good. Boy, is he some kind of shooter, Justin Cobbs. And we're tied at 27 at Bob Williams, holding up a right hand to call out a play. About three seconds, shot clock, game clock differential. Here's Harmon way out on the left side, about 30 feet out, dribbles top of the key, now right side. Tries to go down the lane, leaves it back for Brown. 
Brown back to the right side to Harmon, 25 feet from the basket. Cal right now in a bit of a zone. Don looks like about a 2-3 zone defense. Here's the uh, point guard for the Gauchos. Harmon goes in from the right side, right baseline, missed the layup, rebound. Comes out to Matthews, the Bears are running. Matthews down the lane, runs over Childress, blocking foul on Childress. With 6.2 seconds remaining, and Cobbs will go back to the free throw line. Well, UCSB shot that ball a little bit too quick, allowed too much time uh, for Cal to come down and get a good look, and now UCSB has time with 6.2 seconds on the, on the clock for the first half. They have time to get a look. I may have said Cobbs, Don, it's Matthews on the free throw line, and he makes the first, so the Bears lead at 28-27 with 6.2 seconds left to go here in the first half. Michael Bryson comes back along with Boswell. Bruy and Childress go to the bench for UCSB. Yeah, Be Beeler's still on the floor. He can rebound or take the ball out of bounds. Everybody else is a score, long distance score, right. because hope hoping to get a last shot opportunity here in the first half. And the next free throw missed. Beeler the rebound, and the Gauchos have to hurry. Here's Bryson in the backcourt. Two seconds, one second. Leaves it for Beeler, slam dunk! I did he get it off in time? I don't think so. This one they will look at, no doubt. Beeler slammed it, and it was virtually impossible to tell if the ball was through the, the rim by the time the backboard lit up red. But well, it doesn't have to be found the opposition by eight or nine every night. So far, the Gauchos have the lead in the first half, 18 to 17 boards. Cal pulls down an average of 42 boards a game. Underway here in the second half, same starting lineups for both teams out there. And the Gauchos have the ball first to start the second half, going from right to left. Here's Harmon dribbling straight away to Big Al. He'll pull up, 15-footer left side, good! And there's Big Al with that nice mid-range shot of his, and the Gauchos up by a point. I don't think Solomon knew he had that in his repertoire. Next, if they do that again, watch for Solomon to take a little bit, edge out a little bit defensively. And the Gauchos back in their zone. Is that a 3-2, Don, because Brown keeps, uh, Tarrant keeps popping up and down in that zone. Here's Kravish now to Wallace. On the right side, Wallace can't find anybody inside. Goes back out on top to Cobbs. Gets a screen from Kravish. Cobbs penetrates, kicks it back. Here's Bird, a pull-up 17-footer. Good from straight away. Nice shot. Well, Taron Brown sometimes is at the top. That's more of a 1-2-2 two, two when he does that. But Gauchos can do three, a 3-2 three, or they can do a 2-3. Cal back up by a point, 30-29. to 29. Here's Bryson on the left side. And he had Big Al open on the baseline, didn't get it to him. Now the Gauchos work it to the right side of the perimeter to Harmon. Harmon gets a screen on top from Bruy. Now they go to Bryson between the circles. Right perimeter to Harmon, who did a nice job to catch that and save it from going into Thunder Row. Harmon now to Williams. His baseline jumper right side is good. Big Al is all of a sudden becoming a very good outside shooter. Back-to-back mid-range jumpers by Allen Williams, 31-30 Gauchos. Well, he was struggling against the size of Solomon in the first half, so they're bringing him outside and facing the rim. Bird, another pull-up 17-footer, good from almost the same spot he hit the last one, straight away, just behind that free throw line. And so it's uh, Big Al and Bird going at it here, one-on-one -on -one in the second half. They've scored their four points for their respective teams, 32-31. Cal back in front by a point. Karen Brown now to the free throw line, extended to the right to Bruy. Bruy, one bounce dribble with the left hand, goes down low to Williams. Big Al did a nice job to get it. He is stripped by Solomon, the ball out of bounds off of Allen Williams. Good job by Richard Solomon. As Allen Williams turned to shoot, Solomon stripped it at about, uh, about mid-level, about waist level, and uh, then it went off of uh, Allen Williams and out of bounds. Yeah, quick hands by the big man. Boy, Solomon is impressive, 32-31. Cal by a point. Here's Cobbs between the circles, right perimeter to Bird, and now to Kravish. He'll dump it down low. Solomon dribbled it, got it, reverse layup, good with a left hand. Well, he, knew, he was right under the rim. He knew exactly where the defense was. He knew where he was on the court. Instead of going up right-handed, he went with the left away from the defenders. Off of one dribble, and that's all it took. Bears up by three, 34-31. And now Taryn Brown between the circles, bounces it to Bruy, bounces it down at his footsteps. Bruy picks it up, now fakes the handoff to Bryson at the free throw line, goes to Williams, his baby hook from the right baseline is good, and Alan Williams 
Felt there was some contact, didn't get the call, but got the basket. Gaucho's down by one. Well, 10 points now for Allen Wayne. Six points this second half. 34-33, 16-57 left to go in the second half. Here's Cobbs, bouncing it down inside. Here's Solomon, turn around 12-footer, and that's way short. The air ball comes down to Brewery. I'm not sure if Williams got a piece of it. Here's Harmon up into the front court. Gauchos can take the lead with a basket. Bryson on the right side to Brown. Now they work at left perimeter. Harmon in the left corner, Brewery. Brewery trying to get it down to Al, but he is double teamed down low with Kravish and Solomon. So they come out to the left perimeter to Harmon. Harmon spins toward the Gaucho bench. Cut off there, now to Williams on the left baseline. Going against Kravish, pull up 10 footer. Good! Alan Williams has scored eight straight points for the Gauchos here in the second half. 35-34, Gaucho's up by one. Boy, if Williams continues just to shoot that mid-range shot, here's Cobbs, a three-pointer straight away. Front rim, no good. And Williams battling for the rebound, lost it out of bounds. Solomon from behind got a piece of it, and then it went off of Williams, so it'll be Cal basketball underneath. But Don, you start shooting like that if you're Williams and drawing those uh, post defenders out, Big Al's quick enough to go by a lot of them. Boy, what a shooting display by Williams, and now a whistle, and they're gonna call a foul on Taryn Brown away from the ball before the inbound on a hold. Gaucho's shows up, 35-34, 16.05 left in the second half. Well, if, they, if Al keeps going outside, I wonder if they'll switch Solomon off him and put the 6-9 kid on him instead. And there's a foul on Solomon, so that may have been a makeup call. Solomon inside before the inbound, Did, He's asking Mike Cyphers what I did wrong, and Cyphers gesturing to him that he may have shoved somebody. Brooks checks in now. That's just the first foul for Solomon, just one personal foul. Mike Montgomery sitting on the cow bench. As Solomon went by, Montgomery didn't even look at him. 35-34, Gauchos by one. Here's Cobbs picking up Harmon in the backcourt. No problem for Z to get it up into the front court. Left perimeter, Bryson has it. Going against Wallace. Bryson trying to go to the left baseline. Now Rooks on a switch. They go to Brewey. His 15-footer straight away. Back rim no good. And a big athletic rebound by Cobbs, but he loses the ball, gets it back, then steps on the far sideline. Gaucho basketball. Well, Brewey is a good outside shooter, Don, but when you've got the hot hand of Allen Williams, I think that you'd be patient in the half. 35-34, Gauchos, they inbound in the front court, right sideline. Brown gets it into Harmon. Harmon now dribbles on the right perimeter, 25 feet from the basket, goes to Brown. He'll pull the three-pointer, an air ball. Brewey gets it inside. He's blocked from behind by Kravish. Got it back, put it up, and scored. Mitch Brewey with the stick to it and stayed with it. And got it back. Absolutely. Absolutely. After Kravish blocked it from behind, Brewey puts it up. Gauchos lead by three, 37 34. And Cobbs and Brown pushing each other. And that's going to be on Taryn Brown. And you hear Bob Williams yelling at Taryn Brown. That was some good uh, chucking right there between those two players, Cobbs and Brown, on the right side of the floor. So Taryn now has two fouls in the game. That's the second team foul on the Gauchos. Here's Cobbs from the right side, gets into the paint, puts up a wild left-hand layup, no good. Brewey, a muscular rebound for the Gauchos. Here's Harmon up the floor. He's got Williams. Al goes inside, lays it up good. He's fouled and counts. <laughs> He's bringing uh, a little excitement to this crowd. He is animated out there, enjoying what he's doing. 14 points now for UCSB. Gets to go to the line to shoot another. Solomon comes back into the game, as does Matthews for Cal. 39-34, Gauchos. And Don, correct me if I'm wrong, but Allen Williams has, less I'm forgetting, no, Brewey had two, but Williams has scored all but two points in this second half for the Gauchos. Well, he's 10 points, he has 11 now as he makes that free throw in this second half. So he's a total of 15, I believe. If the scouts are liking what they've seen in the last five minutes, well, I know scoreboard Bob Williams clock. Like, I know Bob Williams and his bench likes what he sees. 40-34, Gauchos by six. 14-55 left here in the second half. Cobbs to Bird on the right perimeter. Gauchos in the zone defense. Now to Solomon, goes down the lane, lays it up, and no good, fouled on the play. He'll go to the line for two, and that foul on Michael Bryson. Allen Williams was contesting the shot as well, but Bryson got Cobbs with the body, and Justin is so quick. 
Actually, a mismatch that time on the perimeter, Don, straight away as Williams was guarding Cobbs, and Justin saw it and just blew right by the big guy. Or Solomon, beg Sol your pardon. Solomon, Solomon. Not, not Cobbs, but Solomon just blew right by Al, who came out uh, on the perimeter defense. Solomon's first free throw bounces in. Well, how's that a mismatch? That's center on center. On the one-bounce yeah. dribble, though. No, I mean, it, well, could it be argued that Al didn't give him, give him enough didn't give himself enough space out there where Solomon got by I just by him. think Sol you know, Solomon's being looked at for, as a future pro for a reason. He's a talented guy. He's got some quickness, and he just kind of burned by Al on that particular play. And he makes both free throws. 40-36. Gauchos by four. And poor Cal checking back into the ball game is Krecklow. Here is Bryson on the left perimeter with it, being guarded by Cobbs, gets a screen from Big Al, now goes to Allen Williams, skip pass right corner, and Harmon thought about the three, instead Matthews got out there. Now here's Bruy with it, just in front of the free throw line, one bounce dribble, goes to the left side to Harmon, Harmon guarded by Matthews, gets a screen from Bruy. Harmon with eight on the shot clock, dribbling straight away, trying to get up a shot, and that one blocked, but it comes down to Bruy, reverse layup is good! Whoa! Mitch, Mitch Whoa. Bruy with a career move. Wow, what a play by Bruy. And that was Kravish that blocked Harmon's shot, and it turned out to be an unfortunate block for the Bears. I mean, Santa Claus was in the <laughs> arena tonight, and he gave Bruy a standing ovation. Kravish, a beautiful 17-footer over Williams straight away. 42-38, Mike Montgomery clapping his hands, trying to encourage his team defensively here. The Bears don't look as sharp defensively. Here is a three from the right. That's no good by Bryson. The weak side rebound by Brown, and the Gauchos have it again. And I say don't look as sharp. I mean, as the first half, Don, I thought Cal was very good defensively in the first half. Here is Bryson now backing down Cobbs on the left perimeter. Goes to Williams down low. Williams, one uh, fake, puts up the shot over Solomon. No good. Kravish crashing the boards for the Bears. And here they come the other direction. And Bob Co Williams didn't like something. And Boswell about to check into this game. Solomon missed a straightaway jumper just inside the arc. The rebound to Williams. And here comes... Harmon, and Harmon, as soon as he got across the half-court line, looked at Coach Williams, who said, slow it down. Now on the left side is Brown. 13 minutes left to go here in the second half, 42-38 Gauchos. Harmon with it along the right sideline in front of Thunder Row. Here's Bruy to set a screen, not much of one. Williams on top between the circles, right side to Harmon, behind the line. Harmon now, pull up, 17-pointer straight away, good! And that time again, Don, the Cal defense just kind of sagged back because Williams went down low and they all went with him. Well, Kravich is the one who was supposed to step up that time uh, on Z, and I think he felt uncomfortable because Al was behind him. 44-38, Gauchos. Here's Matthews along three straight away, and that is good. Boy, what a shooter he is. Yeah, and my, that was deep. Yeah, you want, <laughs> might want to be in his vicinity, though. Yeah. Because he was wide open, deep but wide open. 12-16 left here in the second half. Gauchos by three, 44-41. UCSB has never beaten Cal, 0-9. Can they do it tonight? Here is Harmon. Now they go to the left baseline to Williams. Back out on top is Brown with it. Brown to Williams. Williams gets by Solomon. Baby hook in the lane. Actually, more of a floater by Allen Williams, and he makes it. A good entry pass that time, and again, great movement. Getting perfect position down low by Al Williams. 46-41, Williams has exploded in this second half, Don, unofficially 13 points. 11.40 left in the second half. Matthews, another three straight away. He got it again. Jordan Matthews from almost the same spot, and I mean, that is way behind that arc straight away. Mike Montgomery tried to get a timeout. Cyphers didn't give it to him since it's UCSB basketball. He just didn't hear him in time. 46-44, Gaucho lead down to two. Williams on the left side with it. Back to Harmon on top to Brown. Brown guarded by Matthews as Cal stays in the zone defense here. Now Williams at the free throw line. Williams gives it to Bruy. Back to Williams. Ball knocked out of bounds by Kravish, and that'll bring us to immediate timeout. It'll be Gaucho basketball as Kyle Boswell will check in. 11.07 left here in the second half. Uh, for UCSB, and so many of those have been Big Al Williams, who had four points in the first half already now, 17 points total, so 13 in the second half. And six rebounds for Williams. Harmon will inbound from the baseline to the right of the basket. And Mike Cypers 
one of the officials is over talking to Scott, the official scorekeeper, and now Dick Cartmel comes over to join in. They're looking at uh, Scott's book. Don't know what they're looking at, but it's the scorebook. They're talking about fouls. Solomon has one foul. A lot of responsibility for Scotty, isn't it, being that official scorekeeper? So here's Harmon to inbound. Matthews defending along the baseline. Out on top, it goes to Brewey. Brewey with six on the shot clock, looking for it, and almost lost it. Here's Big Al putting his man in the air, puts it up off the glass. No good, fouled on the play. Williams was fouled. That uh, foul coming against Kravish, and that was kind of a late whistle, Don. Yeah, it really was. I, I, I thought maybe Kravish got away with one because it looked like there was contact on the play. It looked like he hit him on about the elbow area. And uh, but Al gets uh, gets to get to gets to go to the line, where he is three for three tonight. And make it four for four. Gaucho's up 47-44. Exactly 11 minutes left to go in the second half. 18 points for Big Al. How did Arizona State miss on Allen Williams? Next one, good. 48-44, yeah. The Sun Devils had a chance to get Allen Williams, and they said, no, no. Here is Krecklow, three straight away. Good, boy. Is there something about that part of the floor for the Bears? Because Matthews hit back-to-back -back threes from straight away, and now Krecklow buries one from the same spot. 48-47, UCSB by one. 10.35 left to go. Boswell left open, left corner. His three is short on the mark. Rebound batted up beautifully by Matthews, and it's Cobbs with it for Cal. Here's Kreklow, down low, Solomon, and his shot blocked by Bruey, and saved by Williams. What a play by Mitch Bruey coming in from behind to block it. Well, he was getting ready to dunk that, too. Boswell open, three, good from the right corner, and Kyle Boswell pumping his fist at the Gaucho student section, 51-47 Gauchos. This is the best I've seen Mitch Bruey play as a Gaucho. Wow. No question, Don, no question. What a block shot at the other end, and a great job by Williams to come down with the ball and stay in bounds. Here's Matthews off the screen. Long jumper straight away, good. That's just good execution right there on yep. their offensive set. He comes off the screen. Boswell got hung up on it. Uh, that's just a nice, nice uh, offensive move. 51-49, Gauchos by two, 9.35 left in the second half. Taron Brown, right perimeter, gets a screen for Bruey, goes in, Brown, slam dunk! The Bears just completely fell asleep defensively. It's 53-49, and Taron just blew right in for a dunk. Well, the, the screen was coming from the top side, so he started to hedge defensively on the top, and Taron Brown took baseline and went right by everybody. Solomon on the right side, and Boswell runs into him, and that's a foul on Kyle Boswell. That'll be team foul number four on UCSB, the second on Boswell. And here comes Jabari Bird back in for Cal, and Kravish will go out. Mike Montgomery has used only eight players tonight, Don, and Bob Williams has used nine. Here's Kreklow receiving the inbound pass from underneath out near midcourt. And Michael Bryson getting ready to come back for the Gauchos who lead 53-49. Nine minutes left to go here in the second half. Boy, Solomon had good position down low. Cobbs did not want to deliver the ball to him. Cobbs dribbling on the right perimeter. Gets on top, now goes back to Kreklow on the right. Long three, and that one's way short. Actually off the back rim, it wasn't short. It hit the glass in the back rim at the same time and came down to Boswell. That's what you call a long brick, I think, Don. Good shot opportunity, though. He's already showing you he has the range. Brown, three, left side. That's good. Taron Brown, and again, he came off of the screen and was wide open. And let's see if Mike Montgomery calls timeout. He's not going to do it now. 56-49. Bird straight away over Williams. His shot no good. Taron Brown trying to keep the rebound alive. It's batted out to Kreklow. He goes to Cobbs on the right side. Fakes, uh, fakes Bruy out, goes inside, Brown blocked the shot. It's blocked again from behind by Williams, out of bounds. It's a block party. It'll go to Cal, but that time, Taron Brown and Allen Williams both with block shots. Well, against two future NBAers, one was Cobbs, who had his block, <laughs> and then it went to Solomon, he had his block. And Mitch Bruy comes out to a huge round of applause and a big High five, and here comes Alan Williams, and Williams getting the crowd into it. 
Bob Williams giving both, not high fives, but waist high fives. What'd you call those, medium fives or something? Here's Solomon taking the inbound from Cobbs. Those are a couple big waists. Yeah, back out on top, Matthews. His three is short, and the rebound, Bryson all by himself for UCSB. Eight minutes left to go in the second half. Gauchos lead 56-49. Boy, UCSB, oh, Boswell was wide open inside, and Bru uh, check that, uh, here's the ball inside. Beeler lays it up, no good. Follow slam by Taryn Brown. Timeout, Mike McCombrey, and the Cal Bears are walking to the bench. Having been hit with a right hook here in the last five minutes. Now that was Michael Bryson, Don. It was in the stock. NBA. Yeah. Because, you know, it's hard to be a six foot center in the NBA, but it's not hard to be a six foot seven power forward in the NBA. Back to the action, here's Solomon. He flips the ball behind him to Wallace, now to Cobbs. Cobbs with a fadeaway jumper right baseline, back rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Boswell, and he's running up the right sideline. Boswell pulls it up, not quite sure that that's the shot Mike Montgomery wanted. Cobbs was fading away, Don, on that jumper. Of course, he's very good at it. It's certainly the guy he would love to see take a shot, though. Here is Brown on the left perimeter, guarded by Matthews on top to Harmon, 58-49, Gauchos, 7.08 left to go here in the second half. And Harmon down the lane, pulls up left baseline, jumper, good! Zell Michael Harmon again coming off of a, a cluster of players inside and nobody followed him outside. He was wide open. 60 to 49, Gauchos by 11. And Big Al getting ready to come back with Eric Childress. Here's Cobbs inside, Wallace, nice layup as he just kind of flipped that one over his head with the right hand underneath. Well, that's the execution again, you know, it's, it's that Cobbs knows where his man's gonna be, delivers the pass right at the net. Beautiful pass by Justin Cobbs, 60 to 51, Gaucho's up by nine, 623 remaining here in the second half. Harmon between the circles to Boswell, right perimeter, now to Beeler between the circles. Back to Harmon. Harmon has it 25 feet on the left to Bryson straight away. Bryson going against Matthews. Seven on the shot clock. Bryson looks up, bounces it to Boswell. Boswell now has to get something off. Boswell will send up a long three. That's an air ball, and Solomon pulls it down. Here comes Cal the other direction. Bob Williams wanted a foul. Cobbs, left side to Matthews in the left corner. Now they go into Kravish. Kravish trying to flip it into Solomon. They do, puts it up, no good. Rebound tipped up, no good. And here is Matthews underneath to score. Now Bob Williams felt that the ball was interfered with. On, At the other on end Bo on, on Boswell. Boswell. It wasn't a foul. He felt that Boswell's shot had a chance to hit the rim. Solomon went up and got it short of the rim. 60 to 53, and Mitch Brewey getting ready to come back for the Gauchos. Here's an offensive. Nope, are they going to call an yeah. offensive foul on Harmon as he elbowed Cobbs way out at about 30 feet, and Harmon will go over and help Cobbs up. Well, it's inadvertent, but... Contact is contact, I guess, in the face of the official. And he got popped in the jaw or in the mouth with uh, Z's elbow. So that's an offensive foul on and Bob. Bob's upset that Cal stayed in the huddle as long as the uh, Bears did. Now we're back to the action. 60 to 53, UCSB. Cal with the ball in the front court. Kravish now in the left corner. Cobbs fakes Childress in the air, pulls up for a 17-footer short. Big Al with a rebound for the Gauchos and they turn it over as it's off of Childress and out of bounds. And I'm not sure that that's on Childress. That pass... Well, I think it got deflected by Cobbs right. and then went off of Childress's hands. Al was looking for the point guard. The pass was actually in the opposite direction of the uh, Gaucho basket at the other end of the floor, and Childress just didn't react, uh, or as, as you said, uh, Don, the pass was deflected, and unfortunately just went off of Eric's... Uh, him. So here's Cal with it again. Cobbs now swinging his elbows up in Boswell's face on the right side to Wallace. Back to Cobbs. Between the circles they go. Here is Matthews. Matthews puts it on the floor, drives down the lane, lays it up, no good. And the rebound is loose on the floor. Comes to Matthews. He goes back up for a shot and is fouled on the play. Well, he's active. He's not the tallest player out there, but he went quick for that loose ball offensive rebound. He'll get himself two free throws. And yeah, that's on Eric Childress, his second foul. And Matthews will, as you mentioned, Don, shoot two free throws. How impressed are you with Matthews off the bench tonight? Well, he's giving him some instant offense. Because he makes the first. That's 17 points for him, I believe. 
And maybe more. I mean, I know he has at least 17, because I'm looking at a stat sheet that says 11 minutes to go, and we're at 454 to go in the second half. And Jordan Matthews is just a freshman from San Francisco. Second one, good. 60 to 55, Kreklow checks in, and now the Bears go to a full court press like UCLA did the other night. And here's Boswell now, still in the backcourt. Got to get rid of it. Now here's Childress. He gets it up across the half-court line to Williams. Now to the left perimeter. Boswell leads it for Williams inside, lay it up. Good is fouled, it counts. Great pass by Kyle Boswell to Allen Williams, slicing down the lane, and Williams so strong, able to get that one up, even though he was betting. He was uh, being hammered by Matthews. Uh, Williams makes the, the two points and maybe three, but that play was all Kyle Boswell recognizing yep. what was happening in front of him. 62-55, make it 63-55, as Big Al is just on fire here in the second half. He makes the free throw back to an eight-point Gaucho lead. Kreklow now to Matthews on top. Matthews dribbling into the teeth of the zone defense, leaves it for Kreklow. Now down in the paint, they go to Solomon. Turn around, jumper no good. Williams the rebound for the Gauchos. Good shot by Richard Solomon, just came up short. There is Childress now, dribbling way out, 35 feet on the left perimeter, trying to go by Cobbs. He does, splits the defense, bounce pass out of bounds, trying to get it to Bruy, and that goes out in the far corner. So Childress is going to come out, and here comes uh, Zalmichael Harmon and Taryn Brown coming back in. And Boswell will come out. And you just heard, I think it was David Campbell say, get ready to go back into Eric Childress. They're really trying to pump him up with confidence, Don, and he's, a, he's gonna be a fine, fine college basketball player, no question, but his confidence is a little low right now. Yeah, one, well, you know, you can't turn it over. No. Nope. Co coaches put you on the bench when you turn it over. Here is Kravish, a free throw line jumper is good as Kreklow picks up the assist on a very short pass, 63-57. Gauchos by six, 3.49 left here in the second half. Harmon across the midcourt line, now dribbles with the left hand on the left perimeter, goes to the left baseline, Cobbs bumped him and fouled him. Team foul number five on Cal, and that brings us to a media timeout. We'll keep it here as Mike Montgomery. I said there's gonna be 4,000. You said about 4,000. I think I so, said. Well, you might be close. Gaucho's inbound underneath. Can't give it to me, can you, Jerry? I'll Just give it to you. Give it I'll to give it to you. you. I see why you're divorced. It's <laughs> Here now is Taryn Brown on the right side. On top they go to Bryson. Now to Harmon. And Zalmiko Harmon, a career high 10 assists in this game. Here's Harmon dribbling straight away. 22 on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Now down inside. Solomon was over the back of Williams. And Al's baby hook no good. Got his own rebound. Right baseline. Put it up and score. What a play by Alan Williams. And Solomon got away with a foul there, no question. 65-57, UCSB by eight, 310 left to go second half. And our Hampton Inn player of the game, I'll tell you right now, Don, my vote goes to Allen Williams. Here's Solomon down low, going against Bruy. Now Williams comes, double teams, and that'll, oh, it won't cost the Gauchos. Darren Brown blocked Kravish from behind. The ball tipped up, it comes back out to the Bears. Here's Matthews, a three, no good. Ball batted off the glass, it's loose on the floor, diving for it is Taryn Brown, a whole bunch of players are on the floor. And look out, we've got a little pushing and shoving, great job by the officials to get down there. Big Allen Williams was down there, along with Michael Bryson, Taryn Brown, Zell Meet, Zell Michael Harmon, Solomon, Matthews, it, it, me it's, it started with that great block by Bryson. By Taryn Brown. By Brown. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I thought maybe that would be goaltending, but it wasn't just a great block. And they're gonna, I think they're going to give it to Cal kicking uh, because the Gauchos kicked the basketball on the floor. Well, I thought, Don, that Kravish was gonna go in for a dunk. And when, when Big Al came over on the double team, then I was saying, uh-oh, that just left Kravish open. But then Brown came in from behind and blocked it. But Michael M Mike Montgomery, felt that that should have been offensive goal, not offensive goal team, but interference. Interference. Because the ball was on the rim, the ha both hands are still on the ball, but great, great block by Taryn Brown. 2.45 left to go, Gauchos up by eight, Cal inbounding underneath, and here's a dangerous pass stolen by Taryn Brown. 
And Brown is fouled by Kravish. And Taryn is really pumped up right now, and so are the Gauchos. That's team foul number six on Cal, and the fourth on Kravish. What a second half UCSB has played. Maybe the best so far this season, Don, and they played two good ones at UNLV. Well, I didn't see that, that game. I listened to it, but yeah, this is as good as I've seen him play. And now they, Boswell comes in for Mitch Brewey. Offensively, they had a great night down at Poly Pavilion the first 20 minutes, but all around, and many, many players, not just a player, everybody is playing great basketball tonight. 65-57, Gauchos by eight, 2.34 left. Here's Williams, turn around, jumper right side, rims off, rebound, Kravish inside, and a foul on Michael Bryson, and that will send Kravish to the line for a one and one at the other end. Well, the Bryson bad, trying to steal, reached it. Yeah, the bad thing there is you stop the clock, and a shooter goes to the free throw line. So there, UCSB is up eight, and the clock is running. You reach in way away from the rim. There's nothing going on back here. So why go for the steal? Mm -hmm. You stop the right. clock, you give you give a Cal a chance to get that much closer without any ticks going off the, the clock. And if Kravish can make both free throws, it'll be a two possession game. You gotta make the first to get the second. And the free throw is good, swished it. And it's a seven point Gaucho lead. Kravish is a good free throw shooter. Coming into the game, he hadn't made that many trips to the line, but 15 of 18, 83%. And that's his first free throw tonight. Second one, good. Boy, he's an impressive player, isn't he? Yeah, he's 6'9", nice perimeter uh, player, perimeter shooter, and he's on the boards, too. He's working hard out there. Here's Boswell streaking it up the floor through a backcourt press, and Boswell just sprinted up the middle of the floor, got it across the half court line. Gauchos lead 65-59, and Matthews fouls Harmon way out on the right perimeter, and Z will go to the line for a one and one Timeout situation. Four for UCSB, three for Cal. And here comes Mitch Brewey back in for Kyle Boswell as Zalmico, Zalmico Harmon, beg your pardon, will go to the line and shoot. A one and one. Harmon this season coming into the game. Seven of nine. This is his first free throw of the night. And Z makes it. The junior college transfer from Ventura Junior College where he was the Western State Conference Player of the Year last season for the Pirates down there in Ventura. And also a first team All-State selection. Second one. And that's off the back rim, no good. Kravish the rebound. So the Gauchos up by seven. By making one free throw, Don, you at least turn it into a three possession game. Here's the ball in the right corner to Wallace. Now back out on top, Cobbs along three. No good. Rebound tipped up, still tipped up. Taryn Brown trying to track it down. It goes off of Taryn Brown. A Cal player is down there in the right corner as well. Can't see who it is. Oh, they're gonna say Brown committed a foul. Is that Kravish? Yeah, that's Kravish getting off the deck. So that's gonna send Kravish, I believe it's, no, it's not Kravish, it's Solomon who finally gets up. <laughs> Solomon will shoot a one on one Boy, I'm not sure about that foul, Don. It's been a well-officiated game, certainly, but they're both going for the ball, and one is not doing any more than the other, <laughs> I mean, from what we could see. Well, Solomon picked himself up off the ground. Taryn Brown didn't. So there's certainly contact, yeah. but, you, but I agree with you, both going hard after the basketball. And Solomon, 16 of 32 at the line coming in tonight, uh, to the game tonight, makes the free throw. 50% shooter. Yep, at the free throw line. And tonight, he's three for three. 66-60, Gauchos, a minute 59 left to go here in regulation. Second free throw, rims in and out, and Cobbs right there for the rebound. Bryson blocked the shot. Big Al muscles it as Williams got his big paws on it. Kravish came in, so too did Solomon, and Williams just out-muscled both of them to keep it, but how did the Gauchos not block, block out Cobbs, who well, got an uncontested rebound? Well, I think he was out by the three-point line, and he just snuck in. He wasn't, I don't think he was in the lane. 
Boy, what a block by Bryson, huh? Another, the block yeah. party continues. <laughs> well, Bryson and Taron Brown have had some great blocks tonight. And Big Al will shoot a one and one both teams with eight fouls. Williams got to make the first to get the second, and he missed it. And the ball off of Cowan out of bounds. Great play by Taron Brown to keep that one alive. And Bob Williams wants a timeout. Have you ever seen Taron Brown more animated than no. he is tonight? No. Emotional, nope. involved with every play. Wallace, Matthews, and Cobbs for Cal. There is Harmon looking to inbound. Brown was pushed, no call. They get it in now to Bryson, right in front of Bob Williams, and Bryson's pass stolen by Cobbs. Cobbs one on one the other direction with Boswell, lays it up, missed it, slam dunk, Kravish on the follow. Bad pass by Bryson, and that cost the Gauchos two points. That turnover is hurt. They lead the easy buckets. 66 62, Gauchos by four. Minute 30 left to go here in the second half. And Taryn Brown between the circles with it. Now to Bryson. Left perimeter behind the line. They go to Zalmiko Harmon. Harmon now double teamed out there by Solomon. And Matthews and Solomon fouled him as Zalmiko got around him. And Solomon reached around, committed the foul. That's his third. Team foul number nine on Cal. And Brewey comes back for Boswell for UCSB. Well, that's 19 fouls, so one-on-one -on -one situation. Now Solomon is going against a point guard. He may be able to reach around Al Williams or another big player and pick a pocket. You're not going to do it off the point guard. Not with, from his size. Harmon, who is on the line, makes the first. 67-62. Minute 18 left here in the second half. Can the Gauchos hold on to this and beat Cal for the first time ever? UCSB 0 and 9 coming into this ball game. Harmon makes both, 68-62. Matt Stock off the Gaucho bench, encouraging the team. One of the assistant coaches, Bob Williams, top assistant. Now, Cobbs lets it roll to midcourt, picks it up, goes in the right corner. Here's Matthews at three, that's no good. And the ball knocked out of bounds along the far sideline. It will go to Cal. I'll tell you what. Was that Bryson on this right corner against Matthews? Because I think it was on the defensive effort. Bryson actually flew into Matthews and made some contact on, on that shot. No call. Gauchos got lucky there. Here's Cobb straight away with it. As we approach a minute. One minute left here in the second half. And a whistle and a timeout, Mike Montgomery. 68-62, Gauchos. Coach Montgomery didn't like what he saw going on, didn't like the flow of that particular to beat this Thunderdome environment. I don't think it's that, I think it's money. Yeah, no, it's money too, certainly, no, but. It's money, period. Here's Cobbs on the left side, screen from Solomon, not much of one, Cobbs dribbling straight away, now throws it away, it goes off of Kravish, and into the Cal Bears bench. And here comes Boswell in for Brewey, 48.2 seconds left here in the second half, and the Gauchos, with a six point lead to the Bears, if they can't steal it right away, Don, do they go for the foul? I would think so. Here's Harmon between the circles. Now to the right side to Brown. Darren way out near the midcourt line, dribbles straight away, hands it off well, to Boswell. Going, now, now you may as well not foul. Yep, here's Matthews, and now Solomon knocks him down at midcourt. That's 10 team fouls on Cal. Two free throws for Kyle Boswell. Yeah, 33 seconds to go. Gaucho's up six with a great free throw shooter. Going to the line, Kyle Boswell. And, and Mitch Brewey was getting ready to check in and charge in, and Bob Williams had to tell him, you're coming in for the guy who's shooting free throws. You gotta wait. 68-62, <laughs> Gauchos by six. And this could make it a three possession game if Boswell could make a free throw. First one on the way, good. Three possession game, 69-62, 33 seconds to go. Now, uh, Cal's gonna come down, trying to get a quick offensive look. Got a guard to three if you're UCSB. And Boswell makes them both. Brewey comes in for Kyle Boswell. Then uh, after they score, if they score, they'll be picking, if, if they score or not, they'll be picking up full court pressure, Cal will. Gauchos by eight. Here is Cobbs up the floor with it. 
On top, Solomon. Solomon, a couple of dribbles, no look pass off of Kravish, but they're gonna say that Allen Williams touched it last as it went across the baseline. Shouldn't say no look pass, it was more of a hard left-handed shovel pass from about the free throw line down inside by Solomon. Here's Cobbs inbounding out to Wallace. Now in the right corner, Cobbs will launch a three. No good, fouled on the play by Michael Bryson. It's the same thing that happened a moment ago, Don, where Bryson was not whistled for the foul when he did make contact. This time he did, and it's three free throws coming up for Justin Cobbs. The players are smart, too. You know, they even if there isn't contact, you're going to fall in that situation. Chances are there was contact. Don't get me wrong. The but players are smart. Sell it, sell it a little Trying bit. Sell a little bit, knowing that you're going to get three at the free throw line if you hear the whistle. Cobbs first is good. 22.5 seconds remaining. Hey, if he makes these next two, Cal's not out of this by any stretch. Not yet. Well, they're going to be going for steals quick after, you know, make or miss. They go for steals. If you can't get the steal, then you put somebody at the free throw line, and then you come down and start looking for threes yourself. And he makes the second 70 to 64, so he's brought it back to a two-possession game, has Justin Cobbs. We'll see my friend Brian Hill. Santa Barbara Superior Court judge sitting courtside on the other side. He makes all three as Cobbs. Boy, that's clutch. Here comes Boswell back in for Brewey, so Bob's going to put his, his good shooters in. But before uh, anything transpires, we're going to have a Gaucho timeout here. And also Eric Childress will check back in for UCSB. It's a full timeout. Well, a good thing to remember in the huddle, don't throw the... A, uh, not, a, not just a full-court press, but they'll be man-to-man -man trying to get a steal here in the backcourt. And they have Kravitz on the inbounds passer, six-foot-nine guy. And Harmon gets it in to Boswell. Boswell fouled by Kravish. So that will be... Good guy to throw the ball to, Boswell, who just sank his free throws a moment ago. Taron Brown and Mitch Brewey getting ready to come back in. The thing that's been most impressive to me about tonight, Don, is how the Gauchos have swarmed the uh, basket at Cal's end of the floor. Blocked shots from behind, blocked shots from in front, gotten rebounds, kept balls alive to where rebounds are collected on the perimeter. I, I don't know that I've seen the Gauchos this active defensively around the rim as they have been tonight. Well, I think they've done a lot of things nice, you know, tonight. Against, against UCLA the other night, they shot the basketball beautifully from downtown. They haven't necessarily done that tonight, but they've done everything, a little bit of everything in an excellent fashion. Boswell's all alone out there. All, the, all of his teammates are at half court as he gets ready to shoot this first free throw attempt. Makes and it. And it's good. And if he makes one more, it'll be a three possession game and it might be lights out for Cal. 20.5 seconds remaining, 71-65. Bill Bertke, the Lakers director of scouting, longtime Laker legend, still over there, but I noticed some of the scouts have left. Boswell's second, good, and the Gauchos up by seven. And that may do it. Here comes Brewey coming in. Boy, Bob's done another nice job subbing and, and uh, strategizing tonight, hasn't he, Don? Well, he really has, and the players perform for him. Here's Cobb, straight away, leans in for a three. That one rims out, ball tipped up, and Big Al comes down with it. And I don't think the Bears are going to foul if they, well, they are. They apparently just did. So Williams will go to the line at the other end. I think Matthews picks up that foul. Foul gets to the line to shoot. Williams call timeout. Perhaps that was it. Well, the referee just came over and signaled 2-4. Here's the inbound now. And the Bears aren't going to foul. Boswell in the right corner will just hold the ball, and that will do it. The Gauchos have beaten Cal for the first time ever. 72-65, the final. final score.